Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are in the kitchen today. It's me and my daughter Riri. We just in here getting some dinner, prepping a little bit for the week. We're gonna make the girls some jello, just playing around or whatever. And we're gonna do a little conversation while we in here. So never mind what you see that may I may not have announced at the beginning because when I'm in the kitchen I could just start cooking all type of stuff. So um, I don't do recipes, so if you watch my videos and you see me ever do anything that's cooking wise, you probably have to go back through and just, you know, look for what I actually put in there. But I don't necessarily do all that measuring and stuff except for baking, which is actually required. So let's get into it, y'all. We've already um, browned the onions because we're going to make some sloppy joe and I like to add a little bit of extra stuff to my sloppy joe because it's just who I am. She is going to help, we hope, but you know how pregnant folks is. They hang around and eat and don't do much. Huh? But anyway, so I do the um, boneless skinless chicken breast for it. I don't like the smell of grease in the house, so you may not get to see that part where I just go outside and fry them. But you will get to see the end process, hopefully. So, I make homemade Alfredo sauce as well. So, I don't do the canned stuff. The smell of it makes me nauseated. If anybody wants to know. So, I'm going to actually butterfly the chicken breasts because they're so big. And we like to make big sandwiches because it's, it's so filling. Oh, yes. And so she loves them. I haven't made them in a while. So I'm gonna do something a little different. So look y'all. So you mentioned food. She don't know how that. So we're gonna get the onions and put them back on. Add some hamburger meat, some seasoning, so on and so forth. I try to focus on one thing at a time because you know cross-contamination with chicken and ground beef. I don't really have time for that. So we're gonna do that. Get this stuff going and then we'll do the uh so I mold in the jello. So make sure you wash your meat. I know it's discrepancies and all that stuff out here, whether you should or you shouldn't. But baby, wash your meat. Yeah. Okay. It ain't gonna take long. Probably good. I don't know about mm -hmm. that. All these different people saying you shouldn't, you should, whatever. <laughs> and I got quite a few chicken breasts, so I may actually end up doing something else with them. Might slap them. Oh dang! I ain't got no salad. If I decide to make some chicken salad, I'll have celery. But I don't think that cream of celery either because I could use that. In my so, anyway, y'all, yeah. let's just talk about a little something. Uh, the summer, it's been hot. Oh, it's hot here. Too hot. I've been in Texas. Too hot. If you don't like being hot, don't come to Texas. This ain't the place. I like the sun sitting on your shoulder. So, I, oh, oh, I bought some wine. If you've seen my other video, that Black Girl Magic Wine, if you've seen it, you know my review on it or whatever, so I ain't gonna go through all of that with you. But if you um haven't seen it, there's a can nonetheless. Try to not waste it because I didn't like it because it's a dry sweet bread, if you want to call it sweet. And so I'm gonna try to make a sangria out of it and make some, um, the, the ingredients sound very simple to make it. Of course, I probably add a whole lot of stuff there. You know, that's what I do. So we got these, hoo hoo hoo. I'm gonna let Ruri put the hamburger meat in the skillet. Ruri should say, it's broken. And if y'all hear some little kids, it's just my grandbaby and my godbaby. In the room, we had to distract them with some fun to watch on TV. We'll see how long that lasts. Probably not long. Y'all see my counter? It is so crowded. I really don't like having a whole lot of stuff on my counter, but we're going to use the majority of that. So, it is what it is. Um, I am a clean kitchen cook, okay? Some of y'all should be cooking in your kitchen, period. So, here it is. This is the one chicken breast, it's pretty big. I tend to not get my chicken breasts from Walmart because they seem to be so full of water. 
till you can't actually, by the time you cook them, they cook down to nothing. Okay, my phone. So, um, put, just put all that in that skillet with them onions. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. So I just butterfly, you know. I don't know if y'all know what that means, but just some term for splitting it. So, and when I fry anything, I normally use canola oil. So it went from this to this, okay? So if you wanted to, you can actually split this in half and get you two sandwiches. And so that's probably what I'm gonna do because it's so big. Yes, I need two sandwiches. And she wants two sandwiches. So that's how we gonna do that. So we putting that hamburger meat in the skillet for the sloppy joe. Um, kitchen 101 for y'all non cooks. I don't care what you using your hamburger meat in. No, this one. Season it. I don't care what you put your hamburger meat in, season, season it. it. Whether well, it's spaghetti, sloppy joe, hamburger helper, I don't care. I mean, you don't have to use a lot of seasoning because you don't want it salty, but please season your meat. So we normally put, well, I, I, I use garlic powder, onion powder, season black salt, pepper, black seasoning pepper. salt, um, I don't use a whole lot of it when I know I'm gonna mix it with some other stuff, but I do use all my seasonings. Okay. So after I butterfly my chicken breast, I'm gonna season them. Then I'm gonna get my grease hot, and while my grease is getting hot, I'm gonna start putting together my um, Alfredo sauce for the chicken breast sandwiches. And when I tell you they are so good, I'm not a I'm not a boneless meat eater. So good, so good. But they so good, y'all. So good. So good. And of course, I um flour them and you know all of that stuff so they can have crust or whatever on them. But if you don't want that, you want to just uh, saute yours and then put it on the bun because you're trying not to have all the fried. That's fine. But I use canola oil. Like I, if I said that or not, but I use canola oil. But mine, I don't use vegetable oil for anything. So there's another one, butterflies. And so, Marie got the hamburger meat over there going. Turn that, turn that out, Marie. You probably don't have to swap this phone out. I said, you said, you said it's fine. I could have said pain. Oh, no, the spoon. You just swap it out. Just throw it over here and start from this side over here. So y'all, Riri is a new mom who got a one year old and she's soon to be a two mom. Is that a thing? A two mom? I don't know. But she's about to have a little boy, so she's gonna have a little boy and a little girl. Hello. So I'm gonna have a grandson. I can't wait to see what this is about because baby, them boys be kinda different, honey. They be taking risks and making you nerve bad. Man, we're jumping on stuff. Yeah, so. We shall see. Oh, no way. She spoiled the first one. Oh, oh this won't happen. And I told her to make sure because Kruma don't keep crying for a baby, baby. I ain't, I ain't set up like that. That's why I ain't do that to my kids because, honey, I ain't, I'm not set up that way. And I believe in self sufficiency as soon as possible. So I don't be feeding them. Baby, you old oh, enough to use your hands. In miracle. She's Miss Independent. My daughter. Too independent for me, honey. She don't want you hold her hand across the street. I just yeah. can't go. Then you should take your hand off till you stop. Who are you, little person? Who are you? Oh, and why do you even know that? One. one years old, just turned one in April. So we making four sandwiches. Four. So I think I done filet three. Um, and I'm gonna season it with seasoning, salt, garlic powder. Black pepper. Let it sit for a minute while I do everything else. So 
So comment below if you ever had. I've never seen them served anywhere. I've never heard anybody say anything. You know, you get like a uh, chicken alfredo, like pasta, or whatever. But I've never heard See, anybody make a sandwich. And so it comes together pretty well. We love it, especially because you kind of get to sop the sauce up with the bread. Especially me. Mm, 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 yeah. Living in overflow. That's how I make mine. Yeah, sauce flowing all over the side. Oh, yeah. You know she know. Greetings, she's a baby. It ain't because she's pregnant. Definitely not because she's pregnant. Oh, another kitchen one on one. Wash your hands before you touch your sauces. If you've been handling raw meat, I know you know how that go. Y'all don't know. And, um, so yeah. I'm gonna, I have a little outside frying skillet. Some people use the top counter. That's what it's supposed to be for, I guess. But like I said, I try not to fry in my house. It just, it sticks so much. And on top of that, it kind of, Make my nose an allergy or something. Well, so, so uh, check out what we got going on. I'm gonna get this. Hey guys. I'm just whipping up the hamburger meat. For the sloppy joe. I love sloppy joe. I love everything that's food. <laughs> Anybody like Sloppy Joe? Comment below. Y'all, I had this one time where I was beginning to cook Sloppy Joe. And guess what I did? I cooked the sauce thinking I had hamburger meat. Thinking I had hamburger meat. I ain't had no hamburger meat. About crab. Mm. So y'all, this is it. This is what it is that I fry in. So I'm just gonna hook it up, put some grease in it, let it get hot. Yeah, that's how the rarity. Yeah. Me and my mama to talk about certain topics or anything. Also comment below and just put like random questions y'all would like to hear us like ask or talk about or y'all can put the questions down there and ask us. I'm back. Don't take long, I just go right there on my little patio. y'all. in my flour. I don't know if everybody do that, but I do. Mm -hmm. I always season my flour. And even if I just use, um, even if I just use just like a little bit of seasoning salt or something to that degree, I make sure that I season my flour. So you can't just season your meat and don't season your flour. So this is one of my favorite seasonings, y'all. You can't see it. Large season of salt. It just gives your food a different taste. I don't care what else you use. And I got it. I got that big thing from Sam's. So if you do a lot of cooking. And that has actually lasted me quite a while. And I think it's like 5 or $6 at Sam's in comparison to a small one for like 3 or 4 at Walmart. So that's what we, that's what we going with around here. So, yes. So, anyway. Bree, what's been one of the hardest lessons you've learned? Huh? It's fine, baby. We have our moments. Um, Bree, what's been one of your uh, hardest moments or hardest realities as a new mom? 
that you didn't really like consider. Just thing? Yeah, just that one thing that just come to mind and been like, man, I really don't think how hard this could be or challenging. Not necessarily hard. Um, certain things like it really hits me when I have to like teach her stuff mm -hmm. and I'll be like Dang, it's, real, it's real parent life or just more so give your child attention because you know how some people don't really pay their children no mm -hmm. like, they'll put them in front of the TV or anything and go about doing their business mm -hmm. but it's like me more so the, the most thing that really hit me is me Giving her attention. The importance. Of yeah, the importance. Of yeah. Cause, mm. cause I see, I see a lot of that. Like most parents don't really play. They don't want really to play with their kids and stuff. And you know, I but me, a lot of I that. love kids. I love kids. For anybody that don't know me, I love kids. Yeah. So, for me, it's not really a big problem for me. It's just that's just something that I have to realize is very important when you have kids in general. You have to really, really get them attention. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And that can be very challenging. Yeah, it is. Especially when you got so much to do on a day. And you like making time to play with them, making time to teach them, making time. You know, because I was, my kids, I have, I have four for y'all who haven't watched my other videos and don't know that. I have four kids. Um, you don't even look like it, do you? Get into it, hey. You know, I got a god baby. I have a, um, I have a stepdaughter from a previous marriage that I continue to claim as my own, and I currently have a stepson with my husband. And so I love I kids. Yeah. <laughs> I actually love children, you know. And but no matter how much I work and everything I had to do when I get home, I tried to make it my business to play and interact with my kids. Mm -hmm. And a day can truly get away from you to where. You don't realize how important it is, and before you know it, they self entertaining and need self need attention and seeking attention a lot. So I think learning that early on as a parent how key it is, and I know most of them can handle technology more than us now. Yeah. But it's very important that they um, have that one on one time. Yeah. So how do you think it's gonna be having two at one time? Why she think on that? Look at him. I use bags. My 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 kind husband. He brought me a little thing because I asked for it, so I always asked him for something. And I put the flower at the bottom, and you can put it in. If I give you and you can put your meat in there. I need a step stool for my cat. Don't judge me. And sometimes I still need my son a husband. So. Right here, I put flour in the bottom and you just shake it and toss your meat and stuff around. But sometimes when I don't really feel like cleaning this, I just use a bag. You know, just a hood bag way that you see mama them frying fish and chicken. You gotta be all extra. So that's what I use. I mean, can't nothing no nasty than raw chicken. Get on the chicken, okay? <laughs> so for y'all, how I'm out of folks. It's raw chicken, people. So anyway, what you think, Riri, about the whew, being a mom um, to two? I honestly feel like I, me, not speaking for everyone, but just me in general, personally, I honestly feel and know that God is going to guide me in every right direction to go with two kids, but at the same time, I'm also nervous because, of course, I haven't never really balanced two kids before. But I think I'm gonna do a great job, honestly. I feel very passionate about it, but also nervous at the same time. But like I said, I love kids, so I feel like, I feel like it's gonna be a challenge for me at times. Yeah. But I think it's gonna be a fun experience for me also. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I mean, I had two kids that was pretty close in age. I think my my oldest son was born in two thousand and one, 
May 2001, and his sister was born February 2003. So I had kids that were pretty close in age, and I think, like I've been trying to teach, let her know, I ain't gonna say teach her because she's grown, but what I've been trying to tell her, educate her on, is the importance of being intentional with your time. You know, you can't sit down and scroll Facebook and talk on the phone and said about do all of that part. stuff yeah. because time get away and dinner ain't cooked and yeah. babies ain't fed. And if you got a man, he, he ain't got nothing to eat when he get home. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, now kids would dictate your whole life. But it's very key to be intentional about teaching them so that they learn and understand to be self-sufficient. And they also learn to understand no, so that when you got stuff to do, you can get what you need to get done. So, you know, that's been one of our biggest things. Be intentional. Get up in the morning. Turn that crock pot on. That pressure cooker. That's what that stuff is for. To make life a little bit easier. Clean your house at night when your babies go to bed. Get your babies on a routine. Like this one right here, she kind of used to stand up late. But my guy babies used to stand up late. But when it's me and her, we got a routine. Because baby guy mom have to be up. And I already don't like getting up. And I don't, I don't like being all over the place because it, it frustrates me. So when me, it's me and my guy baby, when I get here, bam, we eat, we chill out. She say, God mom, it's time for bed. You right. Let's get in there. <laughs> so that's been the biggest thing I've been teaching her. She really do love kids. I think she's going to do awesome. But she gonna have to learn if time management is everything. And I know some people live by like calendars and what yeah. they gonna do this that, and it helps some people. Yeah. And, she, and it may be necessary to get yourself on a routine. Yeah. Even when trying to spend time, you know, something that was not really prioritized in my marriage to my children's father was us sending away a time for us. You know, by having the kids in the bed at these times so we could talk or watch a show together. On top of the fact that he took a job overnight just so that we didn't have to put the younger kids in daycare. So, I think she's going to do good if she's very intentional. Because one thing about, I feel like when moms get overwhelmed, is they don't plan their day. And they day take over them. Oh. This last thing I would like to have a calendar. Sorry, y'all. I just got a message from church. And, um... Oh, Lord have mercy. He just asked if we come to church tonight. It started at 7 o'clock. Oh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm trying something new. I'm hungry. I ain't ate. But I think she's going to be good. This one, she, she learned not to spoil the second one, so I think she's going to be all right. I'm doing good so far with this one. My baby's healthy. Oh, healthy. And she, she's pretty self-sufficient. Yeah, she is missing. Yeah. Which one we put in here? So, the hamburger meat is about ready. Let me get the strainer. Some strain and grease. Now, turn my water on. I got a, a garbage disposal. Turn the hot water on so it can flush it out. So, so y'all. We just eat in the kitchen, moving around, get some stuff together. So like I said, I use canola oil. I don't have a certain brand that I like more than the others. Just canola oil. You know, some people use olive oil, but I don't like the taste of it. Can't do it. So I put my little flour in the bag. Look at my little bootleg flour. Put my flour in the big bag, added some seasoning to it. So... We about, we halfway through y'all. These are the buns right here that we did before that my daughter really liked. We just had some other buns, but these artesian buns right here, just melt in your mouth. They're a little bit extra, but they work what you pay for them. Mm -hmm. And so they so soft, so soft. So yeah, I'm gonna put oil in this fryer. Be quiet. Go pee. Go pee, Zoe. So, yeah, 
for you. Just pour it in your strainer right here. I already got that. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I usually put a plate. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do. So, we got the grease getting hot. Where's that? Okay, look at the water, man. All right. So, y'all talk to Ruby. I'm going back down here. Oh, you guys. This is my boot. Ha, ha, ha. Look, hey. Yeah, hey, Mama. Hi. Hi. Yeah, Zoe. Yeah. Come on. Oh, sometimes in my uh my flowers, I'm trying to. I'm feeling like a spicy girl. I add a little cayenne pepper just because I be looking for just a little bit of kick, but not too much. So, oh, clean up your kitchen, people. Too. As you go. So, <laughs> so y'all see my guy back down there waving her hand. I'll lay the camera. So, yeah. a, a rumor, of course, is was gonna be breastfeeding mom. Oh, what was when I was to I breastfeed everybody but her because I was so young. Get out of here. I was so young and still in school. And so I didn't get to breastfeed her. But she was still a very healthy baby. Um thank God. So what's been one of your how have you liked breastfeeding and what have you learned about it? I really love breastfeeding. Like, um, I've noticed a lot of people that I know don't really like it. It's not a good thing. But me, I love it. Um, not just because of my benefit, but because it's it's healthy. It's, it's more healthier than, uh, what they call it? It's more healthier than um, formula. And I, I love that she's attached to me, but at the same time, not. But it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty good for for the moments out there that's probably considering like doing breastfeeding or thinking it's gonna be a bad thing. It's not. It's you can really breastfeed how long, however long. You want. With me, I'm trying to wing her off as soon as I can. Please, I can. She's getting a little better. She's getting a little better. Yeah, she don't really, really take it at like night when she's going to sleep. Like when she's really sleepy, that's when she really want it. Or when she just in the mood and want to pull it out. I'm yeah, going. she'll pull it out anyway. That's another thing for y'all moms that they just go and tilt breastfeeding. They whip it out in the way you it. You just got to be prepared. This little girl, y'all. She is so controlling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is so controlling. But she, she independent though. She is. She is in that control. Come on. Huh. Come on. So you always gotta give us some snacks, Josh. Love snacks. Just like me. Where am I got you, honey? Now. There you go. So my grease is getting hot. I'm got my chicken all seasoned up and washing a few dishes just to get it out of my hair. Next thing I'm gonna uh, start my sauce for my Alfredo. I may need to stop it and go to church. My pastor texted me and said we're coming to church, and I need to be up. Uh, so. By the time I get it, it's like 20 30 minutes away. And, um, but anyway, this week is Holy Convocation. We get church, so uh, we have a service. Pastors. Yes, pastors have a service all week. It's been a long time since I've actually, even before COVID, it's been a long time before I've actually been part of a, a, a church where they li literally have a whole week. Um, holy convocation, whole week revival, anything like that. And so I'm actually excited. I know going to work, working, um, 
eight to five and then coming home and going to church and getting my spirit full and probably exhausted because sometimes that word be so good and it hits you, you just won't come home and go to sleep. So um, I know all of that at the end of this week, I am going to be done for you, hear me? And this weekend, y'all, like, I'm going to take my God baby back. My son is going back to spend a couple of weeks with his brother before it's time to go back to school. So I'm going to be busy. Um, but to glo the glory be to God, I get to be here to see it. Um, for all y'all who haven't watched my video about uh, the black phone, check out my video. I ain't going to even tell y'all because y'all ain't going to watch the video of my tea. So go and check out the video about the black phone oh, for yeah. my spiritual friends. Yeah. Yes. Baby. They're moving. They're moving. It is a spirit moving movie. Y'all, yeah. we had to sit down and do the video outside the movie theater because yeah. I it's just was so full. I, my, my spirit was so full from it. And um, it, it never amazed me how God can do things in a way that gets you there for one thing. And then he do something else. That's how awesome he is. But I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching it again. But you got to watch my video, y'all, to know what's going on. And um, I don't give away anything, so you don't have to worry about it. It's just more so to let you know it's well worth the watch. The watch. Okay. So anyway, this is what I got going on. I pray that y'all having a good day, good week so far. And it looks like what I'm going to do is do this jello just because. Do this jello. I think I'm going to try to make my way on to church. I feel like, you know, my pastor took the time to ask if we were coming, which is, I feel, God's way of being like, you need to be in the house tonight, okay? So. That's what I'm going to try to do. Start at 7. And I need to get there. So I have a water dispenser in my house that puts out hot water. I'm going to see if it actually gets hot enough to dissolve this jello so we can try to make it that way. And when I make um, home style chicken alfredo, I use butter, of course, butter. And I use, I use, I normally use um, Italian tea, cheese blend, but I didn't buy any this time. But I always use Parmesan, always. I got a little Gouda and a little monster cheese in here that I'm probably gonna put on the chicken sandwiches. So, Parmesan. So that's what I use, and then I use, uh, Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Then I use garlic powder. Zoe. Zoe. You, and some minced onions. I'm about out. I pick up some more. They around here somewhere. Who knows where well, they around here. I don't know what it is. But I'll find them in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I swear, y'all, you can't never find them when you need it. So I'll go ahead, put my. Do you like it? Oh, well, at least somebody likes it. Probably told you this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my butter be melting when my skin is dry. I got water in it. Let my butter be melting. Have my son come through this trash. Kamari! Oh, he's sleeping. He always sleeps not to have a job. Oh, you tell me about Stand up watching it TV and things like that. So, I'm going to check my grease real quick. No, just bring it out here. Oh, you can't just put that down. Oh, he can actually put it out. Do you think you put that side down? You can put, put that one out there too, Ty. It's, it's 7 o'clock. It should be coming a little. Huh? Yeah, come on in. So, y'all, boop, boop, boop. Get it in there. I'm making this 
Yes. While making this, my son also asked me to make some um uh, some um hamburger fries that I made. Oh yeah. But I don't have any fries, and we're gonna so probably do that sometime this week. We're gonna use tater tots, which it's fine because I got a five pound bag that Walmart yes. bought me two by accident. And if I don't use them, they're gonna be up there forever because I'm not really a tater tot fan. There you go. So but they good smell of that chili and cheese. Yeah. And they hold Me? a lot better than fries because they don't get soggy. That was too bad. They easy. don't get soggy as quick. Uh, oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. When y'all do it this way, sometimes you find that your bag got a hole in. Girl, give me every time. Make me mad. It's I needed. search this bag left and right. Literally. And get to shaking it. And here it is. Flour everywhere. Literally every time I do this, I'm holding it. And don't Alright, y'all. So it looks like my skillet. Yeah. The good thing about that skillet have a light on it that'll tell you when it's reached the temperature it needs to reach and that it's Good ready. Way. And so my light is on. So y'all can talk to Riri and look at these kids in the background for a minute. Hi guys. Don't come out here. Hi guys. This is the commercial. in this skillet. I'm going to add this heavy whipping cream and let it get hot. And then I add my cheese. Okay? So I normally go ahead and add my garlic and stuff, my garlic and stuff to it. And then the cheese. Oh, I see it. Good. Did we get your cheese for my biscuits? Yeah. Everybody said it wasn't either. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Zoe, don't mess that up. Go put that back over there. I know that baby head, but go put it back. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I just added my garlic to the skillet. I normally, I use the last little bit I had in here. But normally, I just do, um, I do everything by taste. So, of course, you're going to need salt and pepper. We all know cheese to be salty on the own. Go out. Ha <laughs> ha. 